Hey guys, hope you're having a lovely day today. So I wanted to talk about the um, new situation, the new developments with the venture yield with the Dow Maker. So I wanted to really give you an explanation of how that works and what that means to you and also some of the changes around the venture yield. So as you know, for those people really um, what Dow Maker are looking for are strong holders. So people who are committed to the Dow Maker. So the shows now are really there designed for strong holders. Those people who are prepared to say, you know something, I love what the Dow Maker are doing and I want to participate. So let's get into that show and I'm going to stick around throughout the whole duration and keep my Dow tokens staked in, um, not staked at the moment, but held in your wallet and you'll be able to get the rewards of that um, show. So that's the way forward. So if you want to participate in the show, you've really got to stay the whole length. If you choose to leave early, which you can, the downside is, is that you get penalised, which is the show tokens that are still vested and remaining, you would lose those. okay? And they would go into what's now called a venture yield as well. So that's one aspect of the venture yield I wanted to cover. Any people who um, decide to leave in the middle of a show, those tokens go into the venture yield. One. 20% of when you participate in a show those tokens also go into a venture yield as well. Now they convert it into doubt and then sent to the venture yield as well. So that's two, two lots of um, um, rewards going into the venture yield. And um, so besides those as well, so to be able to get those rewards, you would have to stake your DAO into the venture yield, give them a time of how long you want to do it from a month to three years. And um, if you go, you, you want to do the whole duration. Any less than 50%, there's a penalty. Above that, there is no penalty, but you still don't get nowhere near rewards you would have got. But the people who do decide to leave, those rewards also go into the venture yield. 50% of them do, 20% get burned, 30% go into a um, ecosystem that helps the projects that are launching on the show by buying their tokens and burning those tokens as well. So that's pretty much. And then, of course, you've got Chris's three million as well in the pot as well. So there's four things there. You've got the people who leave early, the vested tokens go into the venture yield. You've got the 20% that's taken from the start and um, goes into the venture yield. You've got Chris's three, Chris, down, Chris um, who runs Downmaker, is also um, found there were some tokens within Downmaker which they never used. He's going to go into the venture yield. That's three million going to go into that as well. And then, of course, you've got those who early on stake and decide it's not for them. Those goes, 50% of those goes into the venture yield as well. So that's phenomenal returns. So what this is doing, really, in a sense, and, and some of them get burnt as well. So you've got people, and you'd get the rewards right at the end of the staking contract. So this is really is designed for strong holders. Me, personally, I love the plan, love the idea, and I'm going to go three years and go all in at three years and, um, you know, it's going to be three years from now it will be fantastic so i'm definitely someone who's going to do that as an option and um, so i love the system love what they've done guys and that's pretty much in a nutshell if you're not prepared to commit to um the venture yield um vesting um with no sorry the show vesting then of course you've got to think twice i mean you, you're going to get the first one anyway and the rest, then you're not going to get the rest. But, you know, there, there are, I do hear some people saying, you know, I'm just going to go in for the first show. I'm, I'm going to buy some DAO tokens, go in for the first show. Because it's an amazing show. Get the initial 20% that you get and then I'm going to leave. Fine, you're going to leave the rest of your tokens behind, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But I think the big that, that would be a very... That's that to, 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 to some degrees that are the flippers, those people who just want to be in and out. Of course, there's a heavy price to pay for those people who decide to go down that road. But I would say no, stay the duration, do three years. That's on my view. Do less if you want to, but the rewards are going to be phenomenal. Um, so the two aspects is if you want to participate in the shows, you've got to stay the length of the show. If you want to present, if you want to do the venture yield, tell them how long you want to do. It could be three months, could be three years, and then stick to that. You can leave at any of you can leave these two at any time you want. But of course, there is a penalty attached to that. And that's pretty much where the down make is right now. So the price should continue to go up. There's going to be a lot of tokens which are going to be held back. There's no tokens created. All the tokens are coming from those four places that I stated. So it's recycled tokens 
and then there's that burn aspect and whole tokens being taken out of the market as well so i hope you like this video guys and um, that's explaining the venture yield and um, have a good one and i'll see you guys in my chat and also the down maker chat room as well and well done guys to the team and the admin as well for explaining this as well so hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you on the next one bye for now guys bye